Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Fishing Planet. And like 15 minutes ago, uh, we got a new dev diary exploring Gachi no Ri. So they are talking now about waves, they are talking about behavior, the sonar is here too, uh, the GPS system and all that stuff. So there are a lot of uh, stuff that uh, is coming on the ocean map. And I think this is probably going to be one of the last dev diaries. Maybe we are going to get an extra one for the fishing. Because I think it's almost finished. What I read here, and if I read between the lines, I think it's almost done, to be honest. So, I'm going to start first with this. And I'm going to give my honest opinion about this, uh, what they write here. Because I already thought about this too so first i'm going to read this totally because i think it's it's very important what they write here the other stuff i'm going to put a little bit uh together because i read everything already so when we set out to create an ocean map we weren't aiming to just add a new location in fishing planet our ambition was to go big we wanted players to feel like they were stepping into a whole, whole new world with endless possibilities and giant fish waiting to be caught. But let us tell you, turning that dream into reality wasn't easy. In fact, sometimes we joke that it would have been faster and easier to build a whole new game from scratch. And that joke is actual, not too far from reality. Now, after months of hard work, we're getting closer to the finish line. So therefore I'm saying it's, I think it's almost finished and it's been quite a journey. Today we, today we are excited to present a new addition to our Dev Diary series for you to take a closer look at the location and some of the new features uh, accompanying it. Sit back and enjoy. So that was a little bit my thoughts about these two. And I think what they are saying here is what I saw in the previous releases of new areas, not really the good approach. So I think it was better that they put the resources in a new game, to be honest. Uh, I think they started to do something. They worked six months a year on it and they couldn't go back anymore. But I think they wasted a lot of resources. I will explain myself. So what is the problem with fishing games? And what I see in other fishing games too is that content wise they are doing all the same. They just make a new area that takes a lot of time and one, two weeks and then every player play the area and they are done with the area. That's how it works. That's how fishing works. Because it looks the best solution to always make new areas and in fishing planet they need to do that because that's the source of income but the problem is you go you burn really quick to the content because there is not really a lot of content the problem is you got the area you got 20 fish sometimes 15 fish you catch in a week and you're done you level up to the maximum and then you're done and that's a big problem because what i read here is it's possible that they are going to overcome that problem with real fishing, that you get excited what you can catch, that you need to serve the fish. But the problem is that fishing planet is not built like that. Fishing planet is based on leveling, go to another area, catch uniques and you're done. Because what are you going to do? Uh, okay, we got an ocean map. You can search the fish, but after three unique, let's say, bluefin tunas, yeah, you're done, you know, you, what are you going to do? Catch ten more? It's not working like that. There always needs to be something that you can achieve with that. And if you got one time a unique, you achieve that. And that's the problem. And I don't think that they can overcome that with Ocean Map. We need to wait, but... Therefore, I'm saying it was best that they started a new game. I think the time that they put in this ocean map, because they want to make it very big, that's something that I don't understand either. I saw it in Call of the Wild Angler. That's still a very big problem in that game. With the last uh, reserve, South Africa, they came back. They went to smaller. And Fishing Planet goes to bigger because it does not work. You are just going to create hiking or, or just going around with the boat map. But it needs to be about fishing and game settings. 
And I'm a little bit worried. If people burn in 14 days through this area. Yeah, they worked like two years for that small amount of content. But we need to say, uh, but I think at the end it was better that they just started to work on Fishing Planet 2. Made six small areas, start once again from zero, start with another byte uh, system, not on one position. And I think that was a, a much better approach on a better engine too than this one in the game. Uh, so I would go for a new game. I would never do this, but yeah. I'm not a developer, they decided to make the ocean map and let's hope that we get more content than let's say 2-3 weeks and that we don't get burnt after that. So let's have a look what they are going to share with us. So first of all, here you can see it, that's what I'm saying. So the first thing that they are saying is how big is this new area? So you guys can see here, so you see here, so this is the new area, the blue, uh, maybe I can do this. It's maybe easier to see. Yeah, let's do this. That it can go on one page. The new area is the blue one. And these are all the other areas. So you can see all the other areas are like one fourth of the new area. I don't see the purpose why it need to be that big in my opinion. Because I don't think that's the way to go. But you can see here, I'm going to just give you guys the information. So you can see here, it's set to spend 20 by 20 kilometers in total 400 square kilometers. Or roughly 40,000 hectares. Which is almost uh, 100,000 acres. So that's really cool. Uh, yeah. But yeah, like I said, it's nice information, but... It's a little bit, they are overdoing it, I think, at the moment. If they put now in this area 150 species, I can understand that. But I think, what is the total species that they are going to get here? Is it 18 only? So you need to understand in this area. So these areas, I think, I'm not sure how many species are in Fishing Planet, but I guess 3 400 maybe. In these areas, and in area that is four times as big as this, they are going to put in 18 species. And the funny part is that the biggest fish is only, uh, I think, 100 kilograms bigger than the unique Nile perch. So, that's what I want to say. So, the next point, and that's really cool. So, ocean water mastering the waves. So, you guys can see here the waves and they look really good. So uh, I don't want to go too technical, but what I see here is that they used everything. So I think three kinds of water, but I'm not going to read this because it's very technical. It's really cool that you put all that effort in it, but at the end we are going to see this. And if it is good, it's good. This looks good. So that's really good. Then the next one, uh, the ocean isn't always serene. Uh, sometimes storms brew and waves grow sharp and uh, tumultuous. And here you can see it. So they got water dynamic too. So the sea is going to, to get uh, yeah more active with higher waves probably. Uh, we are going to get uh, rain and all that stuff. So that's really good. So you can see, no kidding, the ocean turned out so realistic that after our first trip, some of us even felt a bit dizzy. Yeah, I can understand it, but I need to say this looks really good. So you cannot say it's bad. Uh, I hope that they start implemented every week a couple of species more in this area. Uh, because uh, the thing is like this, so now that they got like the water and all that stuff, that they fixed that or they made that. The next ocean map, because I think there will be more than one ocean map, I think that they even said it, will be a lot easier to make. Because you spent a lot of time, if you read all of this, they spent a lot of time, the water, uh, how the weather is, and that's normal too, you need to do that. Otherwise, it's not a simulator, it's not a fishing game, and they did a really good job. So now you can see here, so the control panel and devices, now I'm going to show you guys the sonar. They worked really hard on the sonar too, because the sonar that is now in the game, nobody knows how it works. Uh, I'm not even sure that it works. You see sometimes a big fish. I already found spots for the Arapaima with uh, that sensor and uh, the bull shark. But 
most of the time nobody is using that because you see a fish, you throw at it, and there is no fish. Uh, so uh, it sometimes works, but most of the time, I I don't think I don't even think that the sonar in the game works because in this game there is no fish in the water. Uh, the fish is not swimming in the water. It's generated when you throw something in the water. Therefore, I was always skeptical with the sonar that we got now in the in the game. But I hope this is going to change that because they put a lot of time in it. So control panel and devices. If you checked out the fish species guide for our upcoming location, you already know that the majority of fish species in this area are highly migratory. So uh, they are going to migrate. So uh, I hope it's really like that, but I'm skeptical for this too. Uh, the problem is even with migration, you will see at some point you can predict that. That's always the case. That's, that's with real fishing, by the way, too. Real fishing is not going random to a, a place, throw something in the water and hope that you catch a fish. You need to learn the place. You need to find the fish. And if you find the fish, most of the time you can keep fishing on that fish. I can give you guys an example. I didn't, I went always fishing when I was young and five years ago, I went back after 20 years to the position on the river. And I know there is barbel and guess what? Barbel was still sitting there after 20, 20 to 25 years. Uh, I, I could say that that species was sitting there 20 years ago. That species, I throw out my, my rotten lure and guess what? What I caught on that position, the same species. So at some point they can migrate, but not infinite. So at some point, I'm sure of it. We will find where the positions are and we will get the fish because otherwise it's a contradiction. They invent a buoy that you can teleport. Why would you invent a buoy that you can teleport if the fish is not on one position? That doesn't make sense. That's a little bit later. So introducing brand, brand new echo sounder and fish sounders installed on the salt water, on all saltwater boats. Uh, so uh, with the GPS navigator map built right into the boats, uh, that's really cool. I'm not really, I don't know anything about this stuff. But what I see here is that uh, you are going to see the fish, the fish finder. Here, this is very important. The fish finder also displays fish across different layers, upper, middle and bot bottom. That's really good. So I hope that if I go with my boat, I can say, okay, I need to go 100 meters, uh, uh, 100 meters in the water. On that moment, that fish that I see on my sonar, I can catch it. You can see it here, by the way. So we are going to get here the depth. Here you see the buoys, by the way, if it wants to come back. So you saw here the depth, the fish, and here is, I think he's just uh, checking that the fish is around the boat. Here you can see it, 109.81. Uh, so... I hope it works and I hope that finally we can target fish. Then the sea life simulation system. This is something really cool too. Another addition uh, for the saltwater location in the sea life is the sea life simulation system. Uh, so you can see here uh, our fish jumping. So it's not only for, um, for decoration and to make the it a little bit more alive? No. Uh, so you can see on the behavior, you can see what kind of fish is sitting there. You can see, you can find spots where fishing is sitting. Uh, so you can see it here. There will be other indicators of where to find them in the location. So it's not only for, for, for graphic wise that they are doing, but you can see here already that was tuna jumping by the way. And that's really cool here. You can see it. So the tunas are jumping. I think that's the yellow fin. Uh, so that's really good. Then the navigation buoys that are the navigation buoys. So what can you do with them? So you can travel to them here. You can see it. So you put the navigation buoy out. You click on them with the tablet because they are doing it here. And then you can teleport to that buoy. Therefore, I'm saying it's a little bit of contradiction. Why would you put buoys somewhere? If the fish is going to swim around the entire time, therefore, I think they got a couple of spots that they can live and that are the spots. Uh, 
uh, it's not anymore like like what we got now. Now they are not migrating; they are just active at a, at a certain time. But you are not, not not a certain time in a certain weather at a certain spot. But sometimes you don't catch it. So this is going to be a little bit easier to catch fish, because if you find the fish with the sonar and you know where they are swimming, yeah, you are going to catch him. You don't need to wait anymore. So the fish is now swimming in the water and it's not generated anymore like in the let's say the old game. Uh, so here you can see it. They look like this. You can see them at the night. So that's really cool. And then they got like boats and all that stuff too. I hope that they don't put music in it like the Amazonian. Uh, this is a Japanese boat, what they said. So that was it, guys. So I gave my thoughts about a couple of things. Let's hope that we get enough of, of uh, content in this update. But we need to watch it. We need to wait what they are going to do. Uh, I hope that we can play longer than two, three weeks until we are bored with, with this new area uh, because otherwise yeah it's uh, it's a pity for all the effort that they did in it uh, but yeah i think the next couple of lakes or areas will come a lot sooner because now the the engine the water is here the sonar is here so they don't need to work anymore on that they just need to make a new area they throw fish in it and it's okay uh, so thanks for watching guys have fun bye bye